Hey beautiful people and welcome back to another episode of The Edit With Me Monday Show. I'm Lucy and today I'm going to be covering a super requested topic from you guys and that is how to properly export your photos from Lightroom specifically for Instagram so that you can get those really crispy, just really sharp Instagram photos. So that's what, oh, just hold on a sec, one second there. Hey, what's up? Hey Lucy, it's Donna. I was just wondering if you ended up ever getting a proper intro song for the Edit With Me Monday show. No, I actually didn't. Oh, you didn't? Okay, give me one minute. All right, she's all done. Have a listen. Oh, that's so awesome. Thanks, man. Should we give this thing a listen? We should give this thing a listen. I just want you to edit with me, edit with me, ooh, edit with me, edit with me, Monday. <laughs> I love it. It's great. It's like Coffee House meets John Mayer vibes. I'm so down for that Edit With Me Monday song. That was made by my YouTube friend, Donna. He does like great videos on photo video stuff. And actually today is releasing a Lightroom video on how to do a lens calibration and, and all that kind of stuff, which I'm way too lazy to make that video. So his channel linked down below. Check him out, say hi, say you like the jingle, cause I like the jingle. Okay, getting into today's video, which is how to properly export photos for Instagram. Now, the first thing that you're gonna do is pick your photo. Know that for Instagram, you can do portrait, landscape, or cute little old school square. I don't see many of those squares anymore, but, but you can do it if you want. Crop your photo to a four by five ratio. That is the ratio to upload to. So I always do that first. So four by five. I hate cropping though. God, it, I hate it. Sometimes it wrecks your photo, but you gotta, you gotta do what you gotta do. All right, so then you're gonna go ahead and export your photo. So right click, export, export. And what I've actually done is I've saved all of these settings into an export preset. So that just helps keep this whole workflow super easy and super quick because I actually hate the whole process of going in and like putting in all these things, changing it. I'm so lazy. So. I made a little preset, so I'll tell you exactly how to save these settings at the end of the video, so you can do that too. So now let's go through my file settings. First of all, you 100% want to export your image as a JPEG, and then what I do is I click limit file size to, and I put 1600 here. Why I pick that number is that is actually the max upload size for an Instagram photo. So if you go above that number, Instagram's gonna apply their compression algorithm, which might not be what you want. It can do weird kind of wonky things. So set that to 1600, make sure that is checked. Now, when it comes to image sizing, always click don't enlarge. Resolution doesn't matter so much, but I keep it around 240. What is super important here is the resize to fit. I do the long edge at 1200 pixels. Now that is because again, that is gonna be the max that Instagram is going to allow you. So for a portrait, it's 1200 pixels. For a landscape, it's actually 1080 pixels. So that is why I have these two separate presets there. So if I'm doing a landscape photo, my long edge can only be 1080 pixels. If I'm doing a portrait photo, I can have 1200 pixels. So that is actually it. That is all the important information and it's not a lot, but it's kind of complicated when you first set it up. So that's why I suggest go in, put all these settings in, click this little button here, add, and save it as Instagram export settings, create. And there you go. Now the next time you wanna export a photo for Instagram, you just click that button and you are good to go. So there you go, those are my favorite settings to export photos for Instagram. All your Instagram bangers are gonna be super crispy, super sharp now. People are gonna be double tapping. It's gonna be great. All right guys, until next week, peace out.